For multiple choice number four, I want to show you how you could do this on the graphing calculator. So we have the function f of x equals 3x to the x minus a plus b, where a is not zero, and I want to determine the domain of the inverse. Now, they've kept it general for a and b, so if the answer is true for all a and b values, it's true for the a and b values that we choose. So let's try this. I'm going to start with my template, 3 to the x minus. Now, all they said was that a can't be zero. So let's choose 1 as a value. So 3 to the x minus 1 plus b. b can be any value. Let's use 2. So I'm going to put this into my y equals to give me the graph of my exponential function. And then I'm going to graph the inverse. And I'm going to look at the domain. So I'm doing it for a very specific function, but I can use my specific function to help me in general. So let's look at that. So I'm going to go into my graphing calculator, and I'm going to enter in my exponential equation. So 3 to the x minus 1 plus 2, and I'm going to graph it. So it's just a nice exponential graph. So that would be what the exponential graph looks like for the chosen values of a and b. What I want to do now is draw the inverse. So I'm going to go onto my main screen, so second mode to quit. Then I'm going to go into my draw menu. So draw, you can see, is right above the program. So I'm going to go second program for draw, and I'm going to draw the inverse. Now the calculator needs to know what you're drawing the inverse for. So you're drawing the inverse of the function in y1. So you saw in my previous video, how do you access y1? You can do alpha trace, and you can choose y1 that way. That's if you have a newer calculator. If you don't have a newer calculator, you could hit vars, and then y vars, function, and y1. So either way that you do it, it's telling the calculator, I want to draw the inverse of what's in y1. So it won't give you the equation, but it will show you the graph. So here comes the graph of the inverse. And keep in mind, we are looking to see what the domain of that is. Okay, so here it comes slow and steady. It's making its way through. So let's look at the options that we have. We have the option that x is greater than 0. That one doesn't fit. It has x is greater than 3. That one doesn't fit. And then my other options are x greater than a or greater than b. So we chose a to be 1. Is it greater than 1? Yes. The next one was x greater than b. b was 2. That's definitely a better fit for us because you can see here at the 2 value, it's greater than 2. So I know based on my little experiment that the answer must be D, X is greater than B.